Hello guys, welcome back again. Finally, I managed to find myself a zombie spawner. I've been playing on this map for, well, since the beginning of the year, um, for so at least six months. And I've been looking for a zombie spawner and thought, well, I'll find one eventually. Getting more and more frustrated because I couldn't find one. Well, today I was doing a bit of mining and I heard a load of zombies in the wall. So I sort of dug, um, dug towards the noise. It was up and across a bit. And lo and behold, my zombie spawner. And luckily, it's not that far from my base. As as I said, I found it while I was mining in one of my slip trenches, or slit trenches. And I'll I'll run back down through that trench now and, and tell you a bit, a bit about it. But um, chuffed to bits to find it. Absolutely chuffed to bits. Oh yeah, this is where I marked the spot. But I've been hearing zombies for a while because I mean, obviously, these slit trenches aren't that far apart. I've been hearing zombies for a while. I knew they'd been up there somewhere. And I put it to the fact there might have been a cave or something up there, but, but it was just too regular and too many. So I thought, well, now I'm finally going to look, go and look for the things. Uh, let's go do a bit of sprinting and bouncing, see if I can get down here a bit faster. So even though this is quite a way along a slip trench, it's not that far from my base. It's, it's eminently doable. But um, So, now I've got a zombie spawner that opens up all sorts of possibilities. I'm going to build one of Daedalus's um, zombie purification stations. Then I can set myself up the trading hall. And then I can trade for name tags and and ender eyes and well, all sorts, whatever you know, whatever you can trade with the villager for. I can now get that. And after six months, obviously, I was quite uh, pleased to find that it was this slip trench that uh, the spawner was in. So I've obviously marked it so I can find it again. Hang on, let's place a mine cart and I can. Go back towards the base. Oops, better eat. Nothing like sprinting over a couple hundred blocks and um, take your health. Hunger bar right then. Right. Ooh, noisy, noisy. Let's go and turn that down a bit. Music and sounds, master volume. Done. Back to game there. Not quite so noisy. Yeah, so. I mean, I suppose about four of these slip trenches I've been hearing zombie noises. And I finally made the effort to go and find out where it was coming from. So here we are, right back in the heart of me base, basically. And I'm just so chuffed. I'm just so chuffed. I think what I'm going to do for my purification station, though, is I'm going to use Daedalus's first um, design for it, where he used water canals. So I tried his other designs, and, and good that they are. I cannot, on this map, or any other map actually, I, I don't seem to be able to get them to eject into an air block. So it's going to have to be water cl canals are going to be the option for me. But that's okay. I, I mean, I built one on my last map, and it worked fine. So you know, I've no complaints with it. Just show you my uh, silo. It's starting to fill up a little bit with gold, coal, slime, as I'm getting bits. I've done quite a bit of mining recently um, A because I wanted, I wanted to find a zombie spawner and B because I wanted to get my resources up as well because I've been building these used quite a lot of my resources and almost all my iron so I'm quite chuffed that I've got well not masses but I suppose I must have at least 25 stacks of iron now so I've got it back up I don't think I've got any blocks oh, 21 blocks got a few I always got a few because you need anvils all the time don't you just go back into my vault a second because I wanted to show you, I, I just prettied up the entrance to the vault a little bit. Because I don't know if I told you in my last video, but I've got a piece of bedrock there. There's nothing, obviously, there's nothing I can do about that. And I tried matching it with obsidian and putting some coal, a solid coal block beside it. It just didn't look right. So in the end, I settled for black wall there and black wall above. So even though you can still see it's bedrock, it does blend in slightly. It's not too bad. And the floor in here before was uh, polished all right which didn't really go that well so I've put some obviously I couldn't put carpet there because the piston's going to come out there so I've put some solid wall blocks there and carpet with my normal underfloor lighting in here so I'm, I'm still chuffed with this vault I just like being in this room I don't know whether it's because the colors are different or whatever but I just like this room for some reason perhaps I'll start using a bit more red brick anyway I've got my diamonds for coming back up 
uh, following all the mining I've done. And got some diamond blocks. Anyway, out of here, and I'll take you back to my zombie spawner. Because obviously... Oh, am I on the right one? Yeah, I'm on the right pot. There we go. Close to the vault. I mean, <laughs> I was just going to say nobody need know it's there, but everybody who's seen this video will know it's there. But then again, you're unlikely to be on my map. So basically, I, I built another minecart to take me to where we were just now. But obviously this is cuts out the middle man, it's a decent travelling distance. So I thought if I got minecart railway, it's going to save me running up and down here. Because I haven't even started any of the building process yet. So I'm gonna, I can imagine I'm going to be to and fro of, along here quite a bit, taking resources there, that sort of thing. I, I can hardly wait, I'm really quite chuffed. So I've been waiting for ages to find a zombie spawn, and for whatever reason in this map it's been a real pig. I just couldn't find one. And I've been all over the place looking, and not just mining as well. But anyway, that's by the by now, so no point being frustrated with it anymore, I found one. There we go. And if you look down, that's where we were down the mining slit. In fact, I'll fill that in because I'm bound to fall in there. And back up here will be my zombie spawner. There he is, dear of him. I'm chuffed to bits with that. Anyway, I'm going to build um, Daedalus's design for a purification station. I think I'll build it down here. Well, obviously, this would be the most practical way place to build it. But I'm as yet... I don't know what to do about my trading hall. I mean, I, I'm tempted to build the trading hall here as well, but as Dateless said, it's, you know, keeping your zombies and your villagers too close to each other is probably not a, not a wise thing. But... I don't know if I want all that, hmm, business going on in my base as well, because it does get on your nerves after a while. So I don't know, we'll think about that. Be good to get it done though. So, the next move is to go back, gather resources and start building. I, really, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll say it once more, but I really am quite chuffed that I found that. After six months I was getting frustrated with it, but there we are, we've made it now. So anyway guys, oops, there we are. If I your legs stick out of there. Anyway guys, Thanks, thanks for watching my short video. Not much to tell you really, just, just my good news. So cheers and gone.